Broadside Stand is a poem which highlights the predicament in which a farmer lives. He is a little away from the city. In the suburbs of a city, he opens his shop and it's just a roadside shed, it's not even a shop. His intention is to sell out his commodities, but nobody seems to bother about him. Especially the rich class, they just move along the roadside without even minding them, without even looking at the, uh, the shop. Rather, they have only complaints about the farmer having a poor shed near the roadside, which in their opinion uh, spoils the beauty of the scenery. Okay, let's start reading the poem. Robert Frost is a highly acclaimed American poet of the 20th century. Robert Frost wrote about characters, people and landscapes. His poems are concerned with human tragedies and fears, his reaction to the complexities of life and his ultimate acceptance of his burdens. Stalking by woods on a snowy evening, birches, mending walls are a few of his well-known poems. In the poem, A Roadside Stand, Frost presents the lives of poor deprived people with pitiless clarity and with deeper sympathy and humanity. Frost can very well be uh, reckoned as a poet of humanity because no other poet might have uh, sung about the predicament of human beings as Robert Frost has done in his poems, through his poems. He has been highly sensitive and very many of his poems really highlight and move us towards uh, that higher sense of sympathy and Empathy. The farmer that you find in the framework of this poem is not only an American farmer, but he becomes a farmer of uh, this world. A farmer who can be found anywhere in the world. This farmer is found even in our neighborhood because his problems are uh, universal. The greatest problem a farmer faces is lack of recognition, lack of uh, proper reward, lack of proper reward. He is not rewarded for his work. Though he works under the scorching sun, uh, 24 into 7, definitely he doesn't get the proper recognition. Uh, the cost of vegetables, for example, you can just see, the farmer gets a very minute amount as his profit, while uh, the commodity is sold out through many hands and the uh, intervening intermediary people are making all the profit. Yes, so this is a fact that is known everywhere, that is known to everyone. Okay, so the American farmer here in the framework of the poem becomes the farmer uh, even in our locality. So the, so the poem has a universal appeal. The little old house was out with a little new shed. The poet begins the poem uh, describing the small shed that is put up near the roadside. The shop is put up by some poor farmers. There are many such roadside stands we can see even in our country. Yeah, they are just trying to, they don't have uh, yeah, proper money to invest in their business. They don't have money to start a new shop, or construct a building. So they just come up with a small shed and they arrange their products, especially vegetables, and then they try to sell it out to the people who are passing by the road. Okay, so the little old house was out with a little new shed. You can see they create small sheds, uh, especially with plastic charcoal in. They just construct a small shed near the uh, roadside to sell out their products. In front at the edge of the road, at the edge of the road, means at the roadside, at the edge of the road, where the traffic sped, sped is a passing of speed. You can see lots of cars, vehicles are all moving along the road. They are speeding along uh, the road. And near that road, by the side of such road, they construct houses, small houses, small sheds. 
a roadside stand that too pathetically pled pled is the passing of plead request and these shops nearby the road seems to be pitifully pleading requesting they seem to be begging for some money they have put up near the road side with the hope that the people who go along the road will stop their vehicles and buy something from them but nothing like that happens nobody is stopping their vehicles and they are just passing by a roadside stand that too pathetically pled these roadside shops are pleading for requesting for money it would not be fair to say for a doll of bread but it is humiliation for uh, farmers to say that they are begging for money they are not actually begging they are actually selling out their products and trying to make money that way with dignity they are living a life okay they are not begging for money it will be a gross humiliation on our part to say that they are begging for money they are actually not begging they are actually living a life of dignity uh, selling their products and trying to make money so they seem to be pleading for customers they seem to be expecting customers they seem to plead to the customers to come and buy their products and then give money a roadside stand that too pathetically pled it would not be fair it is not fair to say like that to say they are pleading for a doll of bread for a piece of bread they are not pleading for a piece of bread they are not directly asking for bread uh, so they don't have anything to eat so they want bread or they want money no they are selling out their products and they demand money only for their products but for some of the money they are just pleading for some of the money the cash they are pleading for some amount of money whose flow supports the flower of cities from sinking and withering faint these farmers live an extremely poor life without money their products are not uh, sold out and because they don't have money and so that's why the poet says they seem to be pleading for some cash flow like uh, the like the plants in a garden if the plants are not watered properly if there is no flow of water into the garden what happens to the plants they will become dry and they will wither away the flowers the plants will wither away likewise these people who are living in the suburbs of the city they don't get any money at all because they are not able to sell out their products and because of that their lives are becoming very withered and dry the flower of the city is from singing they they are singing their lives are singing and they are withering faint they are becoming weak and they are withering because the flow of cash doesn't happen like water the cash is quite important for their life there is no flow of cash cash flow into their lives because there is no Uh, selling and purchasing happening in the roadside shops the polished traffic pass with the mind ahead the rich people who are moving in polished cars rich cars they seem to be not minding them they seem to be looking straight into the uh, straight ahead they don't seem to look at the side where the roadside stands are kept the polished traffic the traffic here means the vehicles different types of vehicles the rich vehicles pass with a mind ahead they seem to be having a destination destination and they just seem to be looking at that destination only they don't even look sideways okay. or if ever aside a moment if ever they stop their vehicles for a moment then out of sorts at having the landscape marred with artless paint of signs that n turned wrong and s turned wrong by chance if any of the vehicles stop near this roadside stand it is only to complain they only open their doors and see uh, the poorly constructed uh, roadside stand and they complain against them they say that see look at that shop because of that shop the beauty of the landscape is gone look at the poor way in which they have painted their sign boards the sign boards are all uh, having spelling mistakes or the letters are uh, painted in a very wrong way the n is turned upside down s is turned in a wrong direction okay so they complain they say that okay these uh, shops are very constructed in an artless way 
they don't have any sense of art uh, they are just uh, very crude and unrefined people not having education so if ever any of the rich vehicles uh, get stopped near the roadside they just open up the window only to complain against them offered okay of signs that with n turned wrong and s turned wrong offered for sale wild berries in wooden carts in these roadside shops you can see wild berries and fruits kept in wooden containers in a crude con in crude containers unlike uh, unlike the shopping malls uh, these poor shopkeepers they do not have expensive covering or containers for selling these products selling their products so they use wooden containers or sometimes you might have seen in your locality they use uh, banana leaves or some crude type of leaves for selling their products okay so against all these uh, the rich people complain offered for sale wild berries in wooden carts or crook necked golden squash with silver warts the products which are displayed in these roadside stands are not good looking Uh, they are not genetically modified to find uh, uh, products they are just crude uh, for example some of the golden squash the yellow golden here means yellow yellow squash uh, gourds there are different types of gourds uh, and the vegetables especially talking about vegetables the different uh, types of gourds which are displayed there are having some warts warts means an unwanted growth on a skin is called wart so some sometimes you can see the vegetables having certain warts on its uh, its body okay it's not uh, very refined so these roadside uh, shopkeepers are not able to sell very good looking vegetables perhaps that's why the customers are not attracted so rich people who stop by this roadside they see this uh, vegetables in which are not in good shape and they complain crook neck Uh, their squash doesn't have a good fine shape they looked uh, having a narrow neck on one part of it sometimes okay crook necked goat and squash with silver warts with some warts with protruding ends or beauty rest in a mountain uh, mountain beautiful mountain scene or some of them are not farmers they are painters their homemade products paintings are also sold out they have kept the sceneries of mountains they have tried to capture the beauty of mountains in a framework and they are trying to sell it out you have the money the poet is talking to the rich you have the money if you want to be mean okay it's a very sensitive uh, line people may be rich but they are not rich in their heart being rich at heart is very important when then only we can appreciate others and their work okay these people are just having lot of money but they are mean you have the money but if you want to be mean see the this is a problem with the rich class you might have seen rich people going and bargaining with the, the poor farmers while they may go to a duty pay shop or they may go to an expensive mall and then they just give the money what is written the, the price tag money is just given without any bargain uh, maybe they are paying the double amount for each product in that shopping mall in the established shops but coming to the poor farmers they will start bargaining even for 5 rupees 10 rupees they will bargain so you find that the rich people are very mean when they behave with the with the so called farmers you have the money but if you want to be mean so it is a choice of the rich people to be mean sometimes when they see the shopkeepers who are very poor they change their mask they just want to be mean okay but possibly they are mean why keep your money this crossly this angrily the poet says uh, and go along why keep your money okay if you want to be mean why are you stopping your vehicle if you want to be mean go away don't stop your vehicle here go along why keep your money keep your money in your pocket don't spend it go along the hurt to the scenery wouldn't be my complaint i will not complain against uh, the fact that their shops are spoiling the beauty of the scenery that's not my complaint then what is my complaint then the poet says the hurt to the scenery hurt to the scenery means the wound on the scenery 
these poor houses are constructed in a very bad way so it spoils the beauty of the scenery the hurt the wound the hurt to the scenery is not my complaint so much as the trusting sorrow what is unsaid but i complain against the sorrow that hangs around uh, around the shops there is a silent sorrow an expressed unsaid sorrow hanging uh, around these shops what is that sorrow all about let us see you can see the double column unsaid so he's going to say he is going to express what is not said here far from the city we make our roadside stand silently these farmers seem to say that we have put up our roadside stand far away from the city because in city there is no play no place there is no scope for business so they put they have put up their shops away from the city and ask for some city money to feel in hand they are in the suburbs of the city with the hope that some amount of money will come into their hands they will be fortunate to touch some amount of money that's why they have put up the shop away from the city somewhat close to the city but not in the city here far from the city we make our roadside stand and ask for some money a city money to feel in hand to try if it will not make our being to try if it will not make our being expand if some money comes into our life like water flowing into a garden and the plants getting nourished they just want to get some money into their hands so that their very being will expand so that their life will get nourished okay so with that hope they are they are put up the roadside stand to try if it will not make our being expand and give us the life of the moving pictures promise that party in power is said to be keeping from us and we all have a hope these farmers seem to say we have put up the show and we hope that some money will come to us and that money will give us comfort and that money will uh, help us fulfill the promise that is depicted in the films almost all the media and films speak for the upliftment of the poor that is of course a story so these poor people seem to say that the promise that is given in the media the promise given by the political parties may somehow will get fulfilled if some money flows into our hands from city that the party in power is said to be keeping from us almost all political parties give promise to the uh, poor farmers and they get their vote and come to power but once they are in the power they ignore that's what is happening so poet says that my complaint is against this sorrow which is unexpressed